So today I'm going to run through my daily commissions uh, routine. So this morning I already finished out uh, spending my resin, though I do probably have a lot more resin left actually to deal with. My commissions are centered around in Azuma today. So just from the looks of it, this is probably a, a speed mission. This is probably just clearing something underground. This is again probably just clearing the Katui. And then this one over here is clearing the bases of the Hidatrols, I believe. So it's not too hard. I do have a habit though when I do my commissions, and the habit is to maximize the friendship. So in other words, this team here is the team with my um, lowest friendship or friendship that's not at 10. I tend to try to maximize the friendship for all of my characters. So, so far I only have four or five left that are not at 100. So let's get to the start panel. My Venti's skill is quite strong, so this will give me some time. This is usually quite quick, so it should be an issue, assuming I actually manage to get that. Notice that, that's the first 10 primos that I need. Next I'll teleport over here. The great thing about having a faster device means that you don't have to wait for the loading of all the teleportation that's required. So, mix up the Tui and. There you go, very quick. And then next another team, but then I don't have any energy left for Venti, so this could be actually it's a bit more time consuming. Fat one to appear. Mm, I don't have anyone who's good enough at wiping out his shield. This could be a problem. Not the best idea using Hydro against Cryo, but you do what you can. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That's not good. Let's just finish him in full, just so that I don't miss chance of dying. Since the next zone works out for me since I've been going next to a goddess statue, so let's go go there. Okay, let's quickly complete this commission. Usually I would harvest these guys for their handguards, but I'll leave it for now. Actually, I need some energy.
Yep, so it should be the towers that I have to destroy. Mm, the only problem with Venti is he doesn't target the nearest thing that I need to destroy. He always targets an enemy, so unless the enemies crowd around me, I'm not going to be able to pull off this wind attack in an actual location. That next one. That's it, all four commissions done, now to collect the daily reward. Yeah. So as you can see, it doesn't take too long to do daily commissions depending on your device and then depending on the location and the type of commission it is. Yeah, let's see, I spent probably about 30 minutes in the morning and another 10 minutes in the evening just to spend the resin and uh, do the commissions. And you should never leave this out, it's very useful for your transformer if you've already got it. So this device here, this will help you obtain um, resin material that you usually, usually get into domains for. So you should always do this every week. The other thing is to also build up your teapot, because if you can build it up to maximum, then you're always going to get the, the currency, which you can then use to buy books. And then you can also use that to buy the coins as well for the cash that you'll need to level things up. Uh, as you can see, machine chow is not that uh, high level. His constellations is only three. I've only got three characters that are constellation six, which is Sucrose, um, Yunjin, and who's the other one? Yes, the owner. So I plan to maximize these c6 ones at some point because they'll be very useful for the abyss currently for the abyss uh, i've only made my first 450 um primo collection so still got a way to get the whole 600 every single time you should also do the bp because this is five guaranteed uh free pulls though it's not the um banner base it's still useful to get them so you should get them whenever you can. Uh, and yeah, if I at some point got to do this as well, I've got to do the one for Klee and Toma. Klee, I can't wait to do it, but okay. Well, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.